anytime, anywhere. ABC, start here. TV, music, and celebrities, just like Martha Scales Klein, who loves useless information. Say hello to Martha, audience. Nice to have you here. Martha, I know that you were on the World Series of Pop Culture. Now, tell the audience about that. Well, uh, my girlfriends and I uh, found out about the contest, joined, and we made it through all the way to the quarterfinals. Oh, very good. It was a team competition, though, and uh, our team name was I Heart Jake Ryan, which some of you ladies, maybe some of the men in the audience, we know is the quintessential high school heartthrob from the movie 16 Candles. Okay, good so title. So that was, that was our team name, and we, we made the quarterfinals, but um, now I'm here, I'm by myself, and I'm ready to uh, win this on my own. So. Well, there you go, Martha. Good luck to you, then. <laughs> and you know what? So far, you've been doing pretty good. Last time we saw you, you got all the way up to 1,000, and you have all three lifelines still sitting there. And when you get to 25,000, you will get... Another lifeline. Another lifeline. There you go. And if you get 15 questions right, you get a Capital One check for a million dollars, which is very, very nice, Martha. So this is what you're playing for, okay? I like it. All right. Are you ready to play Millionaire? <laughs> as ready as I'll ever be. Audience, are you ready to play Millionaire? <laughs> Let's play Millionaire. All right, Martha, this is for $2,000. Based on a true story, what Meryl Streep movie features the famous line, the dingoes got my baby? Out of Africa, Ironweed, the River Wild, a cry in the dark. That would be D, a cry in the dark, final answer. The dingoes got my baby. You got it for $2,000. This is for 4000 Martha. The 2006 Us Weekly headline, Denise Steele's Heather's Husband, refers to a love triangle involving what band's guitarist? Bon Jovi, Van Halen, Aerosmith, Guns N' Roses. I never understand these women's attractions to men with long hair, but it's A, Bon Jovi, final answer. You like him, you got it for 4,000. <laughs> This is for $8,000, Martha. Though it often parodied Reagan-era values, what sitcom did President Reagan name as a favorite during a 1986 speech? Different Strokes, Silver Spoons, Family Ties, Night Court. I think I know this one, but I'm not sure. I'm not ready to bail out, so I think I'm going to ask the audience. Okay, audience, Martha needs your help. If you're ready, vote now. Okay, 74% believe it is family ties. Nothing else really comes close to that. Well, that's what I thought too, guys and gals. So we're looking good. I'm going C, family ties, final answer. Michael J. Fox, you're right. You got it for $8,000. Sixteen thousand, Martha. Justin Timberlake and Janet Jackson's infamous wardrobe malfunction occurred as they finished a duet of what song? Cry Me a River, Senorita, Like I Love You, Rock Your Body. I think it's Rock Your Body. I'm gonna have to phone a friend. Okay, who would you like to call? I'm gonna phone Alexandra. Okay, we're gonna get Alexandra on the line. Hello? Hey, Alexandra, it's Meredith from Millionaire. How are you? I'm doing great, how are you doing? I'm doing great. You know that I'm sitting here with Martha. That's right. And she has six, well, she's going for 16,000. She'll have it if you help her out here. Okay, I'll do my best. Okay, Martha, you have 30 seconds. Your time starts now. 
Alexandra, JT and Janet Jackson's wardrobe malfunction occurred when they finished a duet of which song? Cry Me a River, Senorita, Like I Love You, or Rock Your Body? I think it's Rock Your Body. I thought so too. How, how sure you think? You know what? Because he says, I'm going to have you naked by the end of this song. All right. That's love it. it. You got it. That's All right. right. Good work, Good Alexandra. Night. That's right. She's right. Thank you. You're welcome. That's a luck to Okay. We're going Whoa. deep. Rock your body. Final answer. And he did. You got it for $16,000. Good for you, Martha, going for 25000 in that fourth lifeline. A 2006 Sasha Baron Cohen movie is titled Borat, Cultural Learnings of America for Make Benefit Glorious Nation of Where? Ukraine, Uzbekistan, Belarus, Kazakhstan. I'm happy to say that it is D, Kazakhstan. Finally? Final. You have $25,000. Michigan to show us her stuff. You're doing a great job. You got your $25,000 and that fourth lifeline, which is great. And your husband, Jason, came with you. Nice to see you, Jason. Hi, Meredith. Good hey, to nice you. to see you. And you left your little boy, Sam, at home. Sam's 14 months, you told me? Yes, he is. So he has no idea where mom is, huh? No, he doesn't. But when he gets older and I have some money, he's going to appreciate it. So. <laughs> exactly. Well, I know that you guys, you and your husband, have a trivia night that you um, have at your house for friends about once a month you do oh, this? Oh, yes. Uh, we have friends over and we play uh, Balderdash. We do the Trivial Pursuit Pop Culture Edition. So I brushed up a bunch before I came. I would in, bet. So. Have, oh, have yeah. any of these questions been things that you actually had done while, while uh, playing with your friends? Actually, uh, not so far except for the Kazakhstan one. It wasn't a question more so Bill, my friend, making fun of me for not knowing who Borat was. And, well, so. it, well, you certainly paid off I know then. what I know now, and I'm going to thank him. Absolutely. <laughs> you should thank him because you're at 25, like I said, five away from a million dollars, about to go for 50,000. Anything you want to say? Um, bring it on. Bring it on. Let's go. <laughs> okay, Martha, for $50,000. According to Barry Shalowitz in City Slickers, what ice cream flavor should follow a meal of sea bass, potatoes, and asparagus? Rum raisin, peppermint stick, rocky road, pralines, and cream. I'm going to do 50-50 on this one. Okay, computer, please randomly take away two of the wrong answers. Okay. Uh, rum raisin. A, final answer. Your first instinct was right. It is rum raisin. <laughs> That's a nice little college fun for Sam, oh. huh? Going for 100 thousand dollars which of these beauties is not mentioned in the theme song of the popular 1980s tv series the fall guy sally field suzanne summers cheryl teagues raquel welsh where is my mother when i need her i don't know where is she, she? loves the fall guy okay I'm going to have to do a new question on this one. Oh. I would have said Raquel Welch. Okay, but we're switching out, right? Yeah, we're switching out. All right, let's see who it was. It was Suzanne Good. 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 Glad you switched out of it. So that question is done. And we're going to replace it with another one valued of $100,000. Come on. Martha, for $100,000, as revealed in the series finale of Seinfeld, what is the soup Nazi's name? Aziz Nasen, Zef Hassani, Yev Kassem, Ali Kadari. I think it's B. You see that? 
guess, but I mean, there's so many funny things in that finale that there's so many cameos, it's just hard to remember just one. Okay. okay. I'm going to say B is my answer. Final. TV producer, huh, of reality shows. Yes, ma'am. Well, this is sort of a reality show because you really will win a million dollars if you answer 15 <laughs> questions right, okay? So there you go. Aries. Like the tie, man, it's cool. Thank you. You know the rules, you know the lifelines. Are you ready to play? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's play. For $100, Aries. In a classic movie musical, a plunky nun named Maria sings, the hills are alive with the sound of what? Sleigh bells, music, crickets, Weezer. It's a uh, sound of music, the final answer. They are alive with the sound of music. You have it, $100. Going for 200 Aries. At the height of its popularity, what TV show received about 2,000 VHS tapes a day from viewers? Dawson's Creek, The Price is Right, Who's the Boss, America's Funniest Home Video. You know, um, you can never go wrong with the kick in the groin, so uh, I would say <laughs> for winning, for winning America's Funniest Home oh, Video, oh, so uh, oh. <laughs> the uh, final, uh, yeah, the final answer, I just had to make sure. Ouch, yeah, you have it. <laughs> Going to 300. What self-referential line is repeated throughout the 1990 hit, You Can't Touch This? Hold on, Journey Time. Wait, McFerrin Time. Stop, Hammer Time. Whoa, In Excess Time. You know, amazing rapper, amazing gospel. I uh, know, I'm kidding. Uh, C, Stop, Hammer Time. Final answer. Yes, it is. Stop, Hammer Time. <laughs> For 500 Aries, in what comedy does Eddie Murphy play Prince Akeem from the fictional African nation of Zamunda? Coming to America, The Nutty Professor, 48 Hours, Trading Places. Uh, a, Coming to America, final answer. Yeah, he was terrific in that. You have him in the This is for $1,000 Aries. In 2004, what mom replied, she's a golden delicious, when asked what kind of apple her daughter is? Deborah Messing, Gwyneth Paltrow, Julia Roberts, Courtney Cox. B. Gwyneth Paltrow. Hey, you got it for $1,000. Good for you. Aries is off to a great start. That is first thousand on these stuff. We'll be right back. Now you can play Millionaire anytime with a new DVD game. Compete over the same questions. Use your lifelines, then lock in an answer. The Millionaire DVD game. It's interactive family fun. We are back with Ari's Pinedo from New York, New York, a TV producer who's not normally in front of the camera and is a little nervous now that the, all the cameras are on you, huh? It's 100% different. Um, I can't even explain it. I'm, <laughs> I think more nervous than anybody. Well, imagine. you shouldn't be nervous because you got past the first thousand. The nervousness really is like bombing out. That would be scary, but you're not going to do that. You have a thousand dollars. You're going for two thousand dollars. You're ten away from the million. And best of all, you have all your lifelines. Nice to have you in front of the camera instead of behind it. Are you ready to keep playing? Yes, I am. Okay, let's go. <laughs> This is for $2,000. Which of these nursery rhyme titles is also the name of a 2006 hit performed by Fergie? Georgie Porgy, London Bridge, 
Little Bo Peep, rain, rain, go away. The London Bridge, final answer. Yeah, I love it when she performs it. You got it right for $2,000. Yeah. 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 All right, this is for 4000 which of these feature films is not about baseball? The Sandlot, The Natural, The Player, The Babe. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the audience. Okay, audience, I really need your help. If you're ready, vote now. All right, 75% believe the answer is the player. It's a pretty big number there. That's what I was going for, so see the player, final answer. You went there and you're right. You have it before you have it. <laughs> All right, do the question for 8,000. On the HBO series Entourage, Vincent Chase's brother Johnny is often referred to by what nickname? Drama, method, Oscar, action. A drama, final answer. You know it, you got it for $8,000. I'll recently go in for $16,000. we will have more of Pop Culture News here at Millionaire right after this. TV producer, and this is real. This is a Capital One check for $8,000. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> Aris, going for $16,000, just two questions away from that fourth lifeline, seven away from a million. You ready to keep playing? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's play. <laughs> for $16,000. In what classic 80s movie does a disgruntled romantic grumble, I gave her my heart and she gave me a pen? 16 Candles, Pretty in Pink, Can't Buy Me Love, Say Anything. Love the movie, love John Cusack, D, Say Anything, final answer. Good for you, you have 16 <laughs> It's great when you know it, isn't I know. it? It's wonderful. Going for twenty-five thousand. On the acclaimed sci-fi series Battlestar Galactica, humanity fights for its survival against evil robots called what? Narcons, Cylons, Gardons, Argons. I absolutely do not know this. Okay. Um, Thanks for jinxing me, but that's okay. Uh, uh, no, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna use my phone a friend. Okay. Who are you gonna call? I'm gonna call uh, my friend Kevin. Your friend Kevin? Yeah. Hopefully he'll know. Mm -hmm. You want me to get him on the line? Please. Mm -hmm. And tell me I'm not to blame. No, not at all. Okay. Only. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna get Kevin. I'm very sensitive. We're gonna I'm get sorry. Kevin on the line. It's okay. <laughs> Hey, Kevin, it's Meredith. How hey, are you? Good. How are you doing, Meredith? I'm great. I'm here with Aris, as you know. Yes. He's going for $25,000, and he just thinks you're going to be able to help him out here. I promise I can. Okay, Aris, you have 30 seconds. Your time starts now. In the uh, sci-fi series uh, Battlestar Galactica, okay. humans are fighting against what evil, ro what, against evil robots called what? I know the answer. You don't have to give me the four things. All right. It's what? Cylon. I love you, Kevin. Yeah, people, cheer it up. Let's do it. Final answer, B, Cylons. I love you, Kevin. You have $25,000. <laughs> oh, what a time to stop. But hey, listen. You just got your 25,000, you got that fourth lifeline. When we come back tomorrow, you're going for $50,000. Come to a close tomorrow.
so please join us. We just might have a millionaire from New York, everybody. Oh. Oh.